with you. So you have decided to make noise and tell the administration so that we can all hear and come and clap for you? Oh, we are clapping for you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And you, Samantha, you, you among all, you should be very careful. Katinotu no didaban. Why are you seated on the same chair? Are you supposed to sit there? Katimula be wata gala. Anyway, today we are having a guest, and this guest is very special. Kindly give me your best characters. Do not show me bad manners. Because what you are going to give her is what she's going to take outside there. We don't want anything like a bad picture in this school. Okay? Yes. And this guest is going to help us learn how to make reusable parts. What? Yes. Even us boys? Roger, can you sit down? Yes, even you boys. Like who uses reusable parts? They're so cheap. For me, Samantha, excuse me, no way. I take work. Anyway, leaving Samantha and the hooligans aside, like I was saying, she is going to teach us how to make reusable parts. Even the boys, you will have to keep behind. She will explain because that is not in my capacity to explain. But she will explain why all of you need to stay in this classroom. So, students, help me welcome Mrs. Dorcas. So this is Mrs. Locas, and she's the one who is going to teach us how to make reusable parts. You are welcome, Mrs. Locas. Thank you, Madam Martha. Good afternoon once again. Good afternoon, Madam. Yes, like your teacher has said, my name is Mrs. Locas from Scandid World Initiative, and I'm here to take you through on how to make reusable parts. Are we together? Yes. yes I'm going to ask Madam Martha to help me pick our components so that we can be ready to start. I saw a hand. Do you have a question? I was asking, what are reusable parts? Oh, beautiful question. Yes, so reusable parts are products that we use during our menstruation, during our periods, that we use and then we wash. Are we together? Yes. yes. So every month, girls go through what they call menstrual periods. So reusable pads, once we use these reusable pads during our periods, we don't throw them away, like the disposables. These ones are washed, every after a cycle, you wash and keep the product. Are we together? Yes. yes. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute this so that we get started. So uh, first of all, I'm going to take you through on how the reusable pad looks like. Are we together? Yes. So this is how the pad looks like. This is called a shield. Are we together? A shield shields the blood from staining our uniforms and our clothes. Are we together? It has what we call PUL. PUL is like the plastic, the Macintosh, that shields the blood from staining. It also has a liner. A liner is made in form of a handkerchief. The first that is said these are reusable parts. After using, we wash them and hang them outside. Are we together? Yes, for the boys, we requested that we pay attention because we are future fathers. You can move around uh, these components so that we can have a touch and feel what we are going to make. Are we excited? You can move around so that Everyone can have a feel of what we are going to make.
Rashad has pockets while we insert our liner. Like this. And it has what we call snap buttons that we snap on the underwears. Are we together? Yes. yes. So during that day, normally our packs have a variety of components. Yes? So during that day when one needs to change every after two to four hours, what are you doing? Can you listen to what Mrs. Dokas has to say? Yes, depending on your flow, you can change two to four hours. We only change the liner during the day, and we shall wash the shield at the end of the day in the evening. I'll go ahead to share the pre cuts so that we start making the part. Are we done? Yes, yes, madam, yes. Okay, that's beautiful. For those that have finished, we are going to finish another one for the next. Are we done? Yes. Can I see those that are done? You can put up, I see. Wow, beautiful. Do you like what you've made? Yes, madam, yes. Wow, clap for yourself. <laughs> As you remember, the teacher talking about the cells, that the white blood cells transfer oxygen in the body, and the red blood cells transfer. Carol, yes. are you fine? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. The red blood cells that they transfer food in the body. Carol. Yes? As you seem not fine. Yeah, it's about my sister, Queen. I don't know what she wants. My sister is trying, but she's always outside class. I don't know what she wants. But doesn't teacher Martha talk to her? She does, but she doesn't listen. I even don't know, but anyway, leave that. You are telling, uh, you are telling me about, about the cells. cells. So you, uh, the white blood cells uh, protect the body against diseases, and the red blood cells transport oxidated blood around the body. But Queen. Let me ask you, where do you get all that money to spoil? Buying minute made, chips, chicken, cake. You, you, you think that I don't know the money sister gives us? Can't you use that money to do other useful things? Oh, I can shout. Shout. Or should I give you a big stage, yeah? You go on telling everyone how sister gives me 10K, yeah? Oh, everyone should know you're my sister. Yeah? Let me tell you something. I'm old enough to know what good and best for me. Look at this more rascal. You're coming here. Where do I get the man of chips? Where do you get even the man of big minute made? Are you okay? Come close. Stand up. Stand up. Stand. Next time you find me on campus, yeah? Then you want to know what I'm doing with my life here. I'll get the hell out of you. To get me clear. Stupid small rascal. Get your things and go out of from here. Nonsense. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where do you get the money? You okay?
Samantha? You use reusable parts? Me, Samantha. Uh -huh. No, this is so cheap. Cheap things are meant for cheap girls. Not like me, Samantha. Uh -uh, stop it. Mm -hmm. Same thing we're saying now. That's okay. It's so pretty, pretty. I'm sure Eric likes short skirts. I know. Little Molina. Like, see. Oh my god, I can see. Young one, gonna be late. Let's hurry before lunch. I know. So that you can be back. Okay. Linda! Linda, come on. Oh, wait, is that this? Is it the first time you're jumping here? You know, it's a long time. Long time for what? If I miss this thing, you're done. Oh, is that sure? Yeah, we're well, good now. But, babe. Yes, honey. Do you love me? Of course I do. I love you. You are the best in this world. Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, but I'm scared. What if they wouldn't find us here? Annie, don't get scared. We are two of us here. Are you sure? I got you. Okay, babe. What about the money you told me to give me? Oh. Of course I'm going to give you. And even more. That's why I love you so much. Oh, wow. I love you too. Oh, oh. Mm. Mm. How do you survive even? Ah, let me tell you something. Do you know that my posho is more healthier than yours? No way. My food has been longer. Do you know even in Tula? Do you eat them? No. By the way, let me ask you. Where do you get that money to spoil buying in Tula? Cabbage, <laughs> You're going to eat those cabbage. And you're going to go in that toilet. No, we're not going to go in the Anyways, I have a boyfriend. He's called Nelly. I'm patent ke every week. Just kukula bi no, kwe yagala. By the way, Carol, I can get a boyfriend. I don't need a boyfriend. <laughs> because I came to school to learn not to get a boyfriend. By the way. <laughs> you make me laugh. Why? 
a boyfriend. What is a boyfriend going to do for you? By the way, yes. you want to end up like Queen. My sister Queen. Queen is supposed to be in senior six, but she's still in senior three because of boys. <laughs> Boyfriends, they give us money every week like me. He gives me 10K just to buy these things you see. Don't tell me that rubbish. Wabula karo tama kanko vile. Nice lunch. Kuonye. Ho banange. What's up, Linda? Oh my god, hey? I feel like we know the gun, but so cool, but you see. Do you know what? What? That guy gave me 200k. Wait. Like he gave you 200 200k. 200 200k. For what? 200k. For only it's. Guess what? Mm -hmm. I think one of these days mm -hmm. I'm gonna become a little rich auntie. Just because. Eric Kampa Demi Tuala Satu. Aga! Nangamba Zabia Kulebio Ka. I don't know. Like you say, guys? Hi, what's up, Tina? How are you? We good. Uh, I heard you talk about money and so on. Answer. You know, my guy gave me 10k. Wait. What did you just say? Like one zero K. Yes. For what? And then you're speaking in people that you're having 10K. Wait. Mm -hmm. That's called chapati money. What is it going to do she for you? She even has the guts to stand before us and tell that you're imagine? having 10 10K. 10K. Am I not your friend? Tell her. Since when? Tell her what your boyfriend gave you. My boyfriend gave me 200 K. Her boyfriend gave her 300k and you're speaking about 10k? Yes. For your own information, Tina. Swala ko. Oli mwana wabwala. If you come around girls like us bragging around your ka 10k, zikolelechi. Zigulebyo kulia. What? Kachapati and Rolex katunda. Like listen to the amount of money we're talking about. And listen to the amount of money you're talking about. Excuse us, you're not our level. And ah. next time round, when you're looking for company, you should look for people like you, not us. Excuse us. Excuse No, you love you so one Karoja you say one now. You mean you're not used to her already? She's a loser. That's the kind of food she eats every day. I know, but those people, how do they make it? Eating food posh without nothing. That's the life they chose. But more like chips is a little tasty, tasty. Just the chakras, the chakras, the chakras, the chakras, the chakras, but I think they're okay though. I don't know. Are you okay? Mm, I'm fine. Are you sure? Mm. What's wrong? Linda? Linda, what's wrong? Linda! Oh my god, you're vomiting! <laughs> mommy, are you sick? Oh god. Linda, what's wrong, mommy? To me. Chichi. I'm just feeling oh, dizzy. The chips we, we've eaten. I don't know. I asked you. Headache. But you're not even hot. But, mommy, your skin is pale already. Really? Wait, let me check your eyes. Mm. What? Linda. Linda, you're pregnant. Are you stupid? God forbid it is impossible. You know I'm sharp. How can I be pregnant? No, it's impossible. No, you cannot be pregnant. Linda, look at your no, skin. No, look no. at your eyes. I cannot be pregnant. A mother, no. You know, you know how sharp I am. I, can, I cannot okay, be okay, pregnant. Okay, okay, listen. Okay, Linda. No. Linda, calm down. We need to figure this out, okay? No. Just calm down and listen to me. What? Hey. Okay, see. Should we go to the nurse? No. Okay, 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 okay. No, I cannot be pregnant. Linda, I have a pregnancy test. You yeah, have it? I have it. What is it? I'm going to go bring in our bag that we always use, you know? Wait, just calm down. You're going to stay here for only two minutes. I'm going to be back, okay? Okay. I cannot be pregnant. <laughs> Mommy. Linda, 
go and check very well and don't slime me. But if you're pregnant, I'm gonna be disappointed in you. Oh God, what did this girl do to herself? I'm getting pregnant right now. Now look at this. Linda, you're going to take these pills, okay? Quata. Quata. These are the pills that are going to help you abort that thing out of your stomach. When they hurt me. When they hurt you, Nariongo, we call her Quata. Quata now, we ah. Linda, Quata. You need to take it out. Take, take, take. Take all of them. Take. Swallow. Linda, swallow. If you don't swallow, this thing is not going to come out. Swallowed. Linda, Linda, listen. Now, don't shout. Linda, people are going to hear you shouting. What are you feeling? Let's tell me. These are the pills now I use every day. We use these pills every day. Linda, shh, don't shout. Linda, people are going to hear you and we're going to be in big trouble. God. You know what? If I gave you a pill for one decade, yet you have dreams. And that's why you're like this. What have you done? I've done nothing to you, Linda. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Linda. Linda, 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 Linda! Oh, no. Hey, you're not dead. Hey, Linda! Oh, no. I need to figure a way. I need to figure a way to get out of this. I can't. I can't. No. How are you? This is an emergency assembly. We've got a tragedy in this school. One of the girls who was trying to abort died in action from the bathroom. Since the tragedy, we are so much disappointed. In fact, Madam Martha, I have something to say about it. Thank you so much, sir. Just like he said, we are so disappointed in all of you. How can a child, a mere student, try to abort in our own toilets? That is a big tragedy and we are all very sad. Your parents sent you here to come and study known to start getting pregnant. This, our school, is known for something different, and that is academic excellence, not getting pregnant. Now, for that case, we are going to carry on a checkup, pregnancy checkup. If you are found pregnant, trust me, you are going to be taken back to your parents because you have forgotten what brought you to school and then resorted to something we know nothing about because here we don't teach people to get pregnant. The boys, you also forget what brought you here. You are using drugs and so many other things. You are the same reason as to why these girls keep aborting every day to the extent that today Linda lost her life. Now look at this one. All the time, she dodges classes. She jumps over the fence with all her other colleagues. And when I am doing the checkup, I am going to start with her. You better be sure that you are not pregnant. Madam, I'm not pregnant. You better I'm be I'm not pregnant. Anyway, all the girls, you are going to follow me to the girls' wing. If you are found pregnant, I repeat, if you are found pregnant, you will face the repercussions. Now follow me. You've had all! Now sort yourselves. Good. What did I 
you do to deserve this? All I have done is to be a good sister to you. And this is how you pay me back. By being expelled from school. Queen, what have I not done? Where did I go wrong? Sister, I'm sorry. Just shut up. Sister, I'm sorry. All I have done is to be a nice big sister. I have sacrificed everything for the two of you. Queen, I wish you listened to me. I wish you took every advice I was telling you. I thought I was being a good big sister. But this is how you've decided to pay me back. Where have I gone wrong? I thought I have fulfilled everything. I hate you. I hate you so much. I regret being your big sister. Queen, you my own sister. To be found pregnant. Why would you do this to me, Queen? I don't get salary because it is what you use as your fees. No new hair. Look at my shoes. They are all torn. Look at my dresses. All of them are worn out because I'm sacrificing for my own sisters. And this is what I'm paid for being nice I'm to you. Sorry. When I hurt you. No, don't hurt me, please. Don't okay, hit me. Hit me, please. Don't so okay, hit me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Queen, from today onwards, I disown you as you be. I know I disown you. I'm sorry. From today onwards, you are on your own. Please. Pretend you have never met me. You, you have never seen me. Stop, because I know I don't know you. Are you no, no, don't say that. I don't know you. Stop, please. And you, if you ever do what Queen did, I will disown you too. No, please, sister. I'm disappointed no, in myself. Please. I hate you. Did you? Are you going to heal your face? So Martha, you're Eric. welcome, babe. Why do you have to take a hundred times to pick my calls? Oh, sorry. My phone has been silent. Do you know I've been well, calling you hug, since? Babe. Excuse me. Are you okay? By the way, why do you keep on bringing us to this same ugly house each and every time? Like this is the second time I'm calling you and you're telling me to come here. What happened to the other beautiful, fancy, beautiful, nice looking, House that we used to have. Samantha, listen. I have a friend, right? Like Eric. He wait. uses my. Look at this. The nets, the bed sheets, the floor. Look. It's smelly. Samantha! You're also becoming ugly. Jesus Christ. I have you a friend. Have listen. It. I have a friend. I used to sleep with that friend, and sometimes, you know, he travels away. So he goes with my kids. Look I have nowhere to stay. So I have to stay here. Oh, God. Listen, Samantha. Don't say like Eric. that. You know, I love you so much, you know? Okay. Yeah. Wait. Come to me, baby. Why did you sleep with my best friend? Me? Your best friend? Mm -hmm. Me? Who? who? See how he's acting, but who? Of course I don't know who you're talking about. Hey, Eric, what is that? Eric, you're Look, such so a dryer. I, 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 I can't do that, you know that. Wait, I love you. I can't Eric, do that. ideally, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay. Now, I brought Linda to you, dearly, as my friend. What if? 
I also got pregnant and tried to abort like she did and died. Eric Linda is listen, dead. Listen, are you She's serious? Dead. Are you my serious? best friend is dead. Jesus Christ. And it's because of you. No, listen, you Linda. You killed my best friend. You don't know what you're talking about. You guys have been sleeping out there with other men. And you're talking about me pregnanting your friend? Is that real? Are you serious? I don't know anything you're talking about. Eric, are you still rejecting yourself? Me? Eric, what are you talking about? Eric, what are you talking about? Yes. You're a devil. You're a liar. Samantha. You're everything. Like, I'm so done with you. Samantha, come oh on. Oh, my God. I don't know what you're talking about, Samantha. Wait. No. Eric. Samantha, listen. Listen to me. Eric. I can explain this. Eric. Listen to me. This is just... Listen to me. Sir. Eric, you're sick. No, it's not as you think. You that is something friend. else. You're sick. That no. means I'm also sick. Oh my God. Samantha, oh, listen no. to me. Listen. I'm listen, finished. I can explain this. Don't touch me, stupid. How dare you? Eric, so, how can you? Oh no. Oh no. Eric. Oh my God. We can fix this, I'm Samantha. So we can fix this. Listen to me, Samantha. We can do something, you know? Listen to me. Hey. What you guy, man? Hey. 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 To another school. Yeah. Mama, I'm going to go to the school. It's the same story with Samantha, man. You see what you have done to me. I said, look at this one, man. You know? I'm going to go to the school. You have a HIV. I need to know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do Genda kubu sanga yombo ite muka muku muka 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 Samantha? Queen? Samantha? Time no see. A long time too. How are you? Queen, why are you looking like this? First sit down, I tell you. Samantha, why are you looking like this? Queen, things went hard on me. Where is your baby? My baby. I left her with someone there and to make matters worse, I'm going there to request only for one night like this, only one. I just want them to, to let me sleep, me and my baby. As you can see, I'm trying this small business, but it's not working out. As about things in the morning, that's how they are until now in the evening. But you know it's dangerous for you to sell mangoes at night. Yes, I know, but this is the small business I made up so that I barely get something to eat, me and my baby, even where to sleep. I walked door to door just to get her to sleep and to make matters worse. 
my sister sent me out of her home. Are you sure? She said she doesn't want anything to do with me ever again. What about Roger? Roger denied the pregnancy. Roger said he has nothing to do with my pregnancy. We men are the same. Just know things went wrong and to make things difficult on my side. I had Rogers, they graduated. And those of Carol, imagine they graduated. Their graduation was just recent, can you imagine? After messing up my life, just look at me how I look now. Queen, things are the same. My story is even worse than your story. You remember Eric? Yes, I do. Queen Eric was sick. What? Queen, I have HIV. <laughs> Eric ran away from me. He killed my best friend. He gave me HIV. Now I'm suffering. I'm like a loser. My family abandoned me. My siblings, they don't want to come close to me. When I try to start up a small business, Queen, no one wants to buy any of my things. Everyone is stigmatizing me. Sorry. Like, look at me. Sorry. I haven't eaten since morning. Sorry. I try. I try to live my own life, but it's hard. When you know, I'm going to die. You're not going to die. Who tells you? I'm no. Out of this life. No. Let me tell something. Look at me. No. I had. Look I, at my no. clothes. I know those government hospitals, they do give out ARVs on a free price. Just go and take your medication. I know you're going to be fine. Queen, look at me. No, make sure you go look to the government. Look how I look like. First, go and get your medication. You'll see other things later. You need your life. Queen, what's the use of me taking those medications when Just I can't even take care of my own self? What's the use of me living on this earth when I can't take care of myself? Oh. First, take your medication because you have HIV and you have nothing to do about it. I'm just so tired of everything. No, 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 no. You're not going to die. You can't die. <laughs> Sorry, you got me. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Ah, it's nice, right? Yeah, it's delicious. Yes, I did this for you and I want you to eat it all. Oh, thank you, Sister Madam. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you know, it's very important when you go to school and you do what took you there. Do you understand? Yes. First, I'm so happy you didn't make unnecessary friends. Now look at you. All grown up, a big girl, making me proud. <laughs> Just know I'm so excited. I do not know what the future holds, but I'm already excited. You're welcome, Sister Mata. This is something that was delegated to me by our late parents, and I promised them that I'll never disappoint them. So it makes me feel so good to see you here. And I'm going to make sure that I get you a job. Thank you, Sister. So it shouldn't just stop here. I want you to go as far as possible. Yes. Get you a job. See you grow. See you make money. Yes. You understand? It's just that... Honey. Yes, please. You know that you're so beautiful. Mm, thank you. You look so beautiful on my day. Sister. Sister, what's wrong? I thought you were happy. Sometimes I keep remembering my sister. I don't know why Queen did this to me. Sister, just forgive her. Carol, we should be with her right now. 
if it wasn't for the acts that she did. Now look at the boy that spoiled her future. I'm so happy. Because I have you. That boy ruined my sister's life. All graduating and having lots of fun. Well, she wasted her career. She wasted her life. I used to talk to Queen all the time. But everything was put to waste. It really hurts me. Sometimes I feel like how I wish I didn't chase her away from home. Maybe she would be here. But again, I feel like maybe I did the right thing. Because her being pregnant at that age, I just felt like I couldn't handle. It was already hard for me to take care for the both of you. Then she added someone else. I was not ready. But I miss her. But you know what? It's okay. Good enough I have you by my side. Seeing you smile, seeing you grow has been the best experience. Thank you, sister. And I'm going to make sure that I make you more proud than this. Thank you. And I will, after my studies, uh, I will build for you a mansion. Oh, wow. That's so sweet of you. I love you so much, sister. Martha. I love you too.